Bravo. Thank you. So, Jessamine. Uh, Jess is fine. Jess, okay. Mm -hmm. You'll be performing here on Christmas Eve as a visiting violinist. Yes. <laughs> I am incredibly honored to be here now working with conductor Lena Huber. I just, I can't believe I'm here. So music is your life? It has been so far. It's, it's hard for me to describe what music means to me. It, it allows me to live in this magical world of my creation that, that exists beyond my own. So, um, you have two weeks in Vienna. What do you have planned? Well, it's my vacation, so lots of sightseeing, by which I mean eating. <laughs> also, my, my college roommate is from here. Oh. So first off, I'm gonna go meet her at the Chris Kendall Mart. Yes, perfectly said. You chose the best time of the year to be here. There's no Christmas like Christmas in Vienna. I can believe it. Here. Hi. Hey, Mark. Hey, Vincent. What are you guys doing here? Thought you had that delicate brunch. No, I do. We were passing here on the way, so I figured I'd drop in, say hi, and uh, also bring you some. Uh, Linzerstanger, courtesy of my mom. She has a bakery booth over there. Oh, we know. We already stopped by <laughs> twice. <laughs> twice. Uh, sir, we should be going. Yes, no, I know. I hate to work on Sundays, but uh, I'll be back soon, okay? Auf Wiederhören. Uh, that's when you want to say goodbye on the phone. I want to say in person, it's Elf Wiedersehen or Bisbal. Bisbal, Father. <laughs> Summer, I'm leaving. And I'm also here. Oh, she has an uncanny ability of tuning out my voice. It's called being a teenager. <laughs> Summer, your dad's leaving. Oh, bye, Dad. Bye, honey. <laughs> well, they grow up way too fast. I'll grab your coffee, then meet you at the car to review the agenda. Sounds great. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. You guys be good. Right? Oh, 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 Yes, I, yes, I do. I'm, I'm American. Oh, good. Uh, good. <laughs> I don't understand anything that's happening over <laughs> don't here. Don't worry about it. It's OK. You know, actually, most people here in Vienna do speak English. So. Really? Yeah. Great. Great, because that's all the German I know. <laughs> so what are they doing? Uh, we are actually lighting the Advent wreath. Yeah, we light a, a candle each Sunday before Christmas. Oh. And the middle candle gets lit on Christmas Eve uh, or Christmas Day. Each candle represents a quality of Christmas, love, joy, peace, hope. Mm. Which one are we on today? Joy. So I take it you're a tourist. Oh, is it that obvious? Well, I mean, all you need is your guidebook and your selfie stick. Yeah, they're in my oversized backpack. Let me guess, back at the hostel. <laughs> right, yes. Uh, well, thank you for helping a tourist. No, it's my job, and I enjoy it. Talking to strangers actually encourages me to step out of character and maybe become a little more charming. Well, then, success. Oh, thank you. Do you know where the children's section is? Yeah, actually, no, I just came from there. It's right around the corner. It's over there. Great, thank you. I enjoy your stay in Vienna. Thank you. Children's Choir Christmas Eve pageant. Oh, Summer oh. has a solo. Hi. And Isla is providing some much needed technical support. And Julian's really just looking for an excuse not to help the other kids with their backdrops. Ah. Yeah, I'm not feeling that great. I think I'm getting that flu that's going around. Oh, what flu? That Christmas flu. Oh, oh tinselitis. <laughs> 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 Jess is a violinist. She's the first female concertmaster of the Minneapolis Philharmonic. Wow. What is a concertmaster? What's a Minneapolis? <laughs> <laughs> a 
Well, Minneapolis is a city, and a concert master is kind of like the captain of the orchestra. Isla, did you do that all by yourself? That's amazing. They cousin the Tories. Oh. <laughs> Your work just keeps getting more and more beautiful. <laughs> I appreciate the vote of confidence, but they're just ornaments. They're not just ornaments, they're art. So are your paintings. <laughs> I stalk your social media. <laughs> you know what? You need apple strudel. Stat. Oh, okay. I know the best place. We'll be right back, yeah? Okay. Okay. Oh, my very first apple strudel. <laughs> Hope this tastes as good as it smells. Wait till you taste it. <laughs> I know, right? Mm, wow. Uh -huh. It's so special that you get to help out with the kids. It's a dream come true. Last year, my cousin Mark got assigned here. He's an American diplomat to Austria. And their mom was from Vienna, so I think it helps keep her memory alive, even though she passed away. I help out with the kids, so we spend a lot of time together. And Mark's an amazing dad. Hey, you know what? I think you'd really like Mark. Stop it. <laughs> Why? Are you seeing someone? Yes. Actually, it's, it's, it's very serious. What? <laughs> Tell me everything. I don't know, what can I say? Gorgeous body, rich complexion. We make music together. Oh, your violin. Cute. Even if it's not the best music right now. <laughs> what do you mean? You're amazing. <sighs> I don't know. I just feel like my head's not really in it. I'm not inspired. I'm struggling. You worked so hard to get here. Don't forget that. Jazz, you can't shut down, OK? I will try. Is that good enough for you? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> But I'll take it. Okay. Let's get back to the kids. Yeah. <laughs> you have to see Mark's house. Major perks of being a diplomat. You know what? Come over tonight. I'll cook you tavishpitz, a traditional Viennese dish. Boiled beef served with minced apples and horseradish. Wow, that sounds like something. <laughs> but actually, I was invited to a Christmas cocktail party tonight. Ooh, mm -hmm. fancy. Mm -hmm. You need a date? Ooh, can you? Oh, no, I can't actually. I'm with the kids tonight. Okay. Come over tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What should I do? Uh, well, have you had a piece of Sacha Torte yet? It's Viennese chocolate cake. No. Then off to the Hotel Sacha. But we just had strudel. <laughs> Welcome to Vienna. Welcome to the Hotel Zacher. Are you waiting for someone? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm waiting, exactly. More like just living my life and hoping he magically appears. <laughs> I meant, will someone be joining you today? No. No, just me. I'll be right back with the menu. OK. Be down in a minute. Wow, those are quite nice. Thanks. My mom collects ornaments and she'd love them. Do you sell them? Yeah, online. I always try to get a booth at the Christmas market, but the waiting list's like a mile long. You know what? I could give you this one just as a gift. Oh, no, no, I couldn't. Hmm? All right then. But if you insist. <laughs> Maybe I could gift you something in return. You know, my mom has a bakery stall at the market, and this year she got a bigger booth than needed. I could ask if she'd share the space with you. That would be amazing. 
Yeah, Tori's been wanting her own booth over at the Chris Kendall Market for years, haven't you? Yeah, but, I mean, I'd have to man the booth. What about the kids? Well, let's slip in some talk to his mom. We'll figure it out. Hey, guys. I gotta pop out for a little bit. I'll be back soon, okay? <laughs> all right, great. Yeah, they just ignore me altogether. All right, I will be back. <laughs> The rest of the quartet arrives next week, and then we'll begin rehearsals. You must be excited. Yeah, playing at the Vienna Opera House is the ultimate honor. <laughs> Sorry? Shall we? We're used to I didn't expect to bump into you again. I'm sorry to disappoint. So I guess you'll be less charming this time? Because well, you said talking to strangers encourages you to be more charming, but uh, we're not strangers anymore, so. So you're saying I'm not charming? No, <laughs> no, you're still very charming. <laughs> the Viennese waltz. Strauss. Yeah. You know, when the waltz first came to Vienna, it made quite the scandal. How could it not? <laughs> so, um, would you like to make a scandal? Pardon? It's a joke. A, a bad joke. I'm just asking if you wanted to waltz. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I don't... I don't waltz. <clears throat> we could just dance, then. Not much of a dancer, either, so... Uh, I actually should be going home. I promise not to bump into you again. <laughs> uh, good night. Good night. <laughs> Technically, yeah. But in Vienna, all the diplomats have fancy places. <laughs> wow. But now enough about me. How was the Christmas party? Oh, it's weird. I mean, it was, it was lovely, but I ran into this man that I'd met earlier at the market that day. Was he cute? Like, like a prince meets a cologne ad. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not quite sure what that means. And he chatted with me at the market, and then he chatted with me at the party, and then I took your advice, put myself out there, and I asked him to dance. Uh -huh. And he rejected me, and it was mortifying. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not like I'm ever going to see him again. So, Mark's secretary, Vincent's mom, trying to follow that, <laughs> offered to let me share her booth at the Christmas market so I can sell my ornaments. What? That's amazing! It's a dream come true. <laughs> There's just one teeny tiny hiccup, which is that I'd have to be at the market during the day. Uh huh. Like, not all day, every day, but... I, I would need some help with the kids. Uh, and do you need my help interviewing nannies? I reached out to every nanny I know, and everyone's booked. And I don't want the kids with a stranger. Plus, you're incredible. You've been an amazing role model. Oh, wow, you are laying it on thick like too thick or thick enough for all my dreams dangling on the line. I already had a week of sightseeing planned. Take the kids with you. They'll be great tour guides. What? Don't be scared. Kids are just small people. <laughs> An hour with kids will make you feel young again. What? Just let me introduce you to Mark. No. Uh... Hey, Mark, I want you to meet someone. <sighs> Thought you promised not to bump into me again. Wait, is that? Uh, Jess, this is my cousin Mark. Mark, this is my dear friend Jess. Hi. The, this is the college roommate? Yeah. Violinist. Yeah. Yeah, Tori, uh, she, she speaks really highly of you. Oh. The kids really enjoyed meeting you. So, uh, thank you for offering to help with the children. Oh. Or uh... you didn't offer to help with the children? Uh, no, um, I would love to help. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> I'll be your American Mary Poppins. That didn't make any sense. 
<laughs> you see what I'm saying? So. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, no, it's my pleasure. This isn't awkward at all. Okay, let's go tell the kids. It's not great. You ready for your first day? Nope. <laughs> you ready for your first day? Yep, totally. Great. Okay, so what uh, what do you think I should do with the kids? Just, you know, take them to the candy caffeine puppy store, let them pick out what they want? Sightsee, do Christmas stuff. Okay. Maybe go visit the tree at Schönbrunn Palace. Or go ice skating at Rathausplatz. So is there anything I need to know about them? Any special rules? No, just the usual stuff. You know, no bright lights, don't get them wet, never feed them after midnight. This is hilarious. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Amazing. No, I don't. My breathing was off and I was a little flat. No, you weren't flat. Trust me. I have the blessing and the curse of perfect pitch. Well, I, I need to be perfect for the concert. You know, Strauss said the human voice is the most beautiful instrument, but also the most difficult to play. You'll get there. So I was thinking we'd head out for a day on the town soon. Yeah. Yeah. Nachspeise. Come in. Did you just move in? Uh, about a year ago. I think maybe it's time to unpack. Easier to just leave it in the boxes. We'll move soon anyways. Well, but everybody needs a place of their own to hang their hat, right? Well, I don't wear a hat. I just mean a place that feels like home. What are you, what are you working on? Uh, I'm learning German. Well, we're gonna get going in a couple minutes, okay? Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Going to check on Isla. Ah, oh, that's a closet. Yep, I knew that. Come in. Wow. I like your doll collection. Thanks. Who's this? Miss Teddy. And this? Miss Dolly. So if you have your own baby, will you name it Miss Baby? No, it's a boy. <laughs> so you ready for an adventure day? Yes. Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's go. This is incredible. Oh, wow, look at the lights. Oh, it's so beautiful. Is it always like this? Yeah. Every Christmas. You get to come every Christmas. Yes. Okay, so that is Franz Josef I, the most famous emperor in Austria. Who's that? Oh, that's his wife, Elizabeth. They called her Cece. She's pretty. Yeah. So this is the exact room where Mozart first played for the royal family. He was only six years old. I'm six years old. I know. Do you want to play for the queen? No. No, no neither do I. Some of the greatest musicians and composers in history played right here in this hall. Cathedral is the most spectacular church in Austria. There's so much history in this place. You know, Haydn started his musical career here as a choir boy. Oh, and Mozart was almost the musical director of this cathedral. Wow. Hey, Jess. Hmm? Can we climb the tower? Yes, please, please, yeah, please. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah? Okay, sure. More steps? How many are there? 343. Great. We made it. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, what an incredible view. 
Our mom used to take us here when we visited Vienna. Our mom was from Vienna. <laughs> Look at this! Okay, it is my job as a tourist to try everything in the shop, and it is your job as my tour guides to help me. <sighs> no, it's a hard job. Yeah, but someone's gotta do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's a Mozart Kugel. That is delicious. They're famous. I can see why. You have to taste these. That mm -hmm. one? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's vanilla kipfer. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. This one might be my favorite. Mm. Okay, what should I have next? This one. This one? This okay. one, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is my new, new favorite. Kokos puzzle. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what any of you just said, and I have no idea how to pronounce any of it, but luckily, that doesn't mean I can't eat it. <laughs> So my most important rule in life, maybe my only rule besides dessert before everything, is that whenever I hear live music, I stop whatever I'm doing to listen, okay? Not every day. Maybe every other day. Let's get you home. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe. Guys excited to pick out a tree? Oh, I love Christmas trees. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. Dad! Dad! Hey guys! Whoa! Oh, big hug. Hi. What'd you guys do today? Oh, we went to City Hall. Ooh. In the Belvedere Museum. And this lets us have all the cookies we want again. <laughs> oh, really? I did warn Tori that might happen. I think you guys need to say thank you to Jess. Thank you, Jess. Thank, thank you, Jess. Jess. Let's go. Bye. <sighs> thank you. Yeah, no problem. It was fun. <laughs> so, uh, where are you? Uh, where are you off to? Um, nowhere really. I was just planning to saunter away like I actually had somewhere to go. Oh, you're more than welcome to join us. Oh, yeah? Great. So, uh, what do you think of Vienna? It's incredible. <laughs> of course. How long have you lived here? About a year. But the kids said they used to visit their mama's Viennese? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, she was. I met her in, uh, in London, we were in graduate school. Hmm. Moved around a bit from South Africa to the UK. And we always planned to move back here to Vienna. But... So where are you originally from? Me? Uh, everywhere. Uh, nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> my parents were in the army, so my natural habitat was a moving truck. <laughs> Sounds tough. It's all right, pros and cons. You fit in everywhere, but you're never completely at home, you know? Hmm. Okay, so what's your favorite place you've ever lived? Oh, favorite place. I have to think about that. Dad? Huh? We found a tree. Really? <laughs> okay, we found a tree. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go get the nutcrackers for the handle. Sir? Yeah? I'm off for the day. No, I think you should stay. Come on, help us with the tree. By the way, Vincent, I'd like you to meet Jess. This is Tori's friend. Just to meet you. This is uh, my right hand man, Vincent. I could use a hand over here. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you again. The market was incredible. Can't believe I almost sold out what I brought in. Really? That's great. <laughs> and your mom and I are already best friends. Really? Yep. Got to hear a lot of stories about you. I regret introducing you to my mother. <laughs> My mom has a set just like this. Oh, really? Yeah, every Christmas, my parents have the whole family over for decorating, mm -hmm. and it's always my job to arrange the mantle. Where, uh, where are your parents from? Uh, Philly. I'm originally from Philadelphia. Oh, I think this Philly, huh? Over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I've never been. What's it like? You know, it's, it's kind of like the Vienna of the U.S. Okay. You know, rich in history, lots of culture, breathtaking architecture, mm. and the food. You know, you got bratwurst, we've got cheesesteaks, mm -hmm. you got schnitzel, we got pretzels. Pretzels, which originated from here. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the pretzel was born here, but it was perfected in Philly. Oh, I gotta okay. tell you, I guess uh, Philly's a pretty <laughs> special place. Yeah, yeah, it is. Although I live in Minneapolis now. Minneapolis, what's that like? There's a lot of culture, a lot of music. The regional cuisine is fried food served on a stick, so mm. can't really complain. No, neither would he. Hey, Mark, <laughs> the kids are getting hungry. Want me to whip something up? No, no, you stay, I'll do it. Who wants a grilled cheese? Sorry. Stop it. Why? Do you need any other reason besides the fact that he already rejected me? Mark and you obviously have chemistry. And maybe Mark's gonna be the one to help you rediscover your passion for the violin. Tori, I'm not here to rediscover my passion for the violin. I'm here to say goodbye to it. I'm leaving the orchestra. Why? Because my heart's not in it anymore. I'm just going through the motions. I'm just performing. I, I don't want to quit. Violin has always been my life, and without it, I'm... I'm terrified. What can I do? I dread playing. It's time to face the music. I've lost my love for it. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. What are we doing today? Uh, well, I think your sister has pageant rehearsal. Want to go get ready for the market? Yep. <laughs> Hi, good morning. How's Miss Teddy today? She's got a migraine. Oh, sorry to hear it. Is this the violin? Yeah. I got to practice today. You want to take a look? Yeah, come here. Stand right there. OK, here you go. Be very careful with it. So you're going to rest your chin under that. Put that up on your shoulder. It's a little big for you, but you want to give it a try? Yeah? Go ahead. That was wonderful. Aww. No, no, believe me. I've heard lots of kids' first attempts at violin, and I'm telling you, that was great. Trust me. You know, when I was little, I was pretty shy, too. I think I was just trying not to intimidate people with my awesomeness. But when it was hard for me to speak, the violin spoke for me. So look, we've got the E, A, D, and G. G? Yep, that's it. And three I just keep messing it up. Oh, take a break. We'll try it later. Hey, what's wrong? Maybe someone else should open instead. I mean, this is the Vienna's children's choir, so it should probably be someone who's actually Viennese. OK, first, this choir's for everyone. And second, you are Viennese. You live here. Just for now. But your mom was Viennese. Summer, you sound so great. You're going to be amazing. I'm just sad that my concert's at the same time, so I won't get to see you perform. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Looks like your Christmas flu's cleared up. Why don't you go help the other kids with the painting? Mm -hmm. Could be a good way to practice your German. You know, there are a lot of different ways to hang your hat. Hey, guys. Dad! How you guys doing? Finished my day early. I thought maybe we'd do some ice skating. You should, uh, you should join us. Yeah, Jess, come with. Yeah, yeah we're gonna be over at the uh, Rattlesplatz. It's a sightseeing you can't miss. Sure. Great. Yeah. Candles burning low. Lots of mistletoe. Lots of snow and ice. Everywhere we go. I can sing in Paris. So I take it there's uh, no ice skating in Philadelphia? <laughs> Sure there is, I've just steered clear of it. 
When you devote your life to a musical instrument, you tend to avoid activities that involve your hands anywhere near people with knives strapped to their feet. You're pretty good on those things. Well, you know, it's to play ice hockey. That's that one where the, uh, where you chase around something that's disappointingly not a giant Oreo. <laughs> Is that your takeaway from all sports? Huh? Football. I mean, soccer. No, I'm talking about the one where the ball looks like a really big chocolate-covered almond. I'm sensing a theme here, you know. Okay, let's let's, uh, let's try something else. Okay. All right, got my hands. Mm -hmm. Follow my lead. Okay. Look at you. You get the hang of it. Ew, you're being nice. No, I'm saying something nice I don't mean. I'm being polite. Easy, right? Look at you. You got the hang of it. So you don't want me to do that swirly thing? No, 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 no. Swirly no. thing. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, it's OK. It's all right. Okay. You're doing great. See? Oh. 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 You want to get some hot chocolate? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Danke. Oh. Wow. Chocolate on chocolate, huh? Mm. Mm-hmm. It's not for the faint of heart. Mm. It's taken me a lifetime of practice to be able to handle this. <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. So I spent years of my life devoted to chasing around a giant Oreo, mm -hmm. and you spent years devoted to chocolate. Yes, I did. Mm. Yes, and in case you're about to ask, it was a tremendous use of my time. <laughs> was it, did you always want it to be a diplomat? Actually, I'm a minister. Okay. That's a diplomatic ranking. Mm -hmm. But uh, my goal is to be an ambassador, but I think I'm a couple promotions away. Wait, so like when other kids said doctor, firefighter, you said ambassador? Well, I, it's kind of a military family thing. Uh -huh. but, you know, when I was a kid, I was good at languages and always knew my course. You know, be an assistant, counselor, minister, and hopefully one day an ambassador. So do you enjoy it? I mean, yeah, I mean, it has its rewards and challenges. That is a very diplomatic answer. Well, hey, <clears throat> I'm a diplomat, right, so. <laughs> Okay, so what about you? When children wanted to be astronauts and pilots, did you always want to be a concertmaster? Yes, yes, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah, I was thought in music, dreamt in music. Mm. I'd get excited when I'd hear a door squeak in a perfect E flat. <laughs> it's just different than I thought it would be. In what way? There is so much stress and so much pressure. I spent my whole life playing just for the joy of it, and now it just, it feels like a chore. Right. I don't know, maybe that's just what happens, you know? With, with mastery comes a loss of connection. But I can't pretend. And music doesn't lie. I'm actually leaving the orchestra. What? Yeah, yeah, this will be my last concert. So, so, what are you gonna do next? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty scary, to be honest. Well, you know what? You're very talented. Mm. And I know you'll figure it out. Oh! You sit on the missile track. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling dunk. Yeah, but so wunderschön. <laughs> yeah, but feeling dunk. <laughs> Ciao. What did she just say? Oh, she's just commenting on the tree is something about the decorations. So. Mm. Yeah, is it me or does missile spike sound a lot like mistletoe? No, it's not just you. No? no yeah, it, it does. It sounds a lot like mistletoe. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can't fail tradition entirely. <laughs> Oh, maybe we should go check out our kids. My kids, my kids. Should we check out my kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. All right. Chin right here and hold it a bit over here like this. That's right. And so when you rest your head, you're going to want to tilt your head a little bit like this. You want to hug the bow with your fingers. Wrap them around like this. Nice. 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 You are, you're doing it, it's great. D, A. 
Yes. But you did. <laughs> you did. You did. You're a natural. Okay. Now we are going just rented Isla of Island, but they didn't have kid sizes in stock. Do you want to try the E string? Well, it seems like Isla wants to stick with it. I'll buy her a violin. I'll get to find her a teacher too, since Jess is leaving. Tori, the kids are getting attached to her. They are. And she's leaving. Yeah, but we knew that. I did it. You did. You got it. That's amazing. You're a natural. Mark, I know you're just trying to protect them, but encouraging them to get close is protecting them. Well, I've got to get to the market. To the okay. okay. This is the D and this is the A. So we go. D. Hey. Great! Well done! Honey, you sound amazing. It's just one note. Yeah, yeah, but that's the thing about music. It's just a bunch of notes all put together. The magic comes in how you play them. And you play them with so much art. You know what? I think next time. You're gonna be ready to learn your first song. Ooh. Hey, if you've done your lesson, you wanna go down to the uh, Kinder Christmas Village? Yeah. Hmm? You should join us. I would love to, but I, um, I should probably get back to my hotel and practice. You sure? Well, I mean, I guess this kind of constitutes practicing. Yeah, yeah it does. I guess we're going. <laughs> Where do you want the photo to go, honey? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Down here? What do you guys think so far? Not bad. Whoa, <laughs> that was great. Look at the bow, honey. That is impressive. Very, very good. Yay, that was great. Can I take one of Jess? Oh, yeah. Jess, come on. Yeah, come on, yeah. Jess. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's all say Frohe Weihnachten. I can't say that. <laughs> okay, you know what? Why don't we all just say Merry Christmas? Okay, right? good. Okay. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! <laughs> there we go. Yay! Awesome. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh. You should keep this one. Oh, thank you. I will treasure this. Lebkuchen! What did she say? So these are Lebkuchen, German gingerbread cookies. Lebkuchen. What? No. <laughs> I'm. I cannot pronounce a single German word correctly. Well, I don't know about that. You pronounced Mistelzweig pretty good the other night. So, what does it mean? Well, the root word is Leben, which means life. Mm -hmm. And Kuchen means cake. So, life is cake and cake is life. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Just to explain so much about Vienna. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes me want to stay here forever. <laughs> that looks good. <gasps> That's so pretty. Maybe you want to add some sprinkles. Look, these oh. are really pretty. <sighs> Silent Night is my favorite carol. Really? Mm -hmm. You know that was written here in Austria, right? Well, of course you'd know that. You know everything about music. Well, no, so. I don't know everything, but I know a lot about Silent Night. Yeah. It's the first song I learned how to play. Really? I would play and my parents would dance. It's become this tradition now that whenever the song comes on, they stop whatever they're doing uh -huh. and they dance together. I thought you weren't supposed to dance to Christmas carols. Is that a rule? Uh, just. I mean, if so, we break all the rules. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, your parents do sound great. They have this saying that love is learning the song in someone's heart and singing it when they need it most. Well, I like that. Oh, it's Vincent's. Uh, could you watch the kids for me? Yeah, of course. You guys, I have to go back to the office. You guys behave, OK? okay. Not too much sugar. <laughs> All right. Come on, guys, check it out. Wow. Isn't it amazing? This is so cool. Jess, how are you? <laughs> I hope that with all your vacationing, you found time to practice. Yes, I actually practiced last night. Um, hey, guys, come here. 
want to introduce you to Summer and Julianne and Isla. This is Lena. She is the very talented conductor of the Vienna Philharmonic, which is probably the best orchestra in the world. What's a conductor? Well, I set the tempo and mood and uh, unify the performers. So you're like the glue that holds all the musicians together, right? Exactly. Also, Jess, I was thinking you could open the show with a few words. Yes, yeah, I'd be honored. <sighs> you okay? This place looks much bigger from the stage. It's normal to get nervous. I used to get the worst stage fright. Well, how did you get over it? Well, mainly performing, repeatedly. <laughs> But also, my parents gave this to me when I was about your age. Barely ever take it off. A good luck charm? Oh, no, it's more like a heart charm. Just a reminder. And whenever I get nervous to get out of my head, get into my heart. Can I go backstage? Can I come with? Yeah, sure. Let me guess. You're gonna tell me to go play with the other kids. No, I just had a question. Why you learned in German? Um, I don't know. I mean, if you're so sure you're gonna be moving soon, why learn the language? I guess because... because it reminds me of my mom. And so it makes me feel like I'm... Home? There are a lot of different ways to hang your hat. <laughs> hey, you're back. Hi. Did you get him to bed? Yes. And I feel like I accomplished a miracle. I swear, Isla waits till the second I turn off the light to ask for water or the bathroom or the meaning of life. <laughs> What's wrong? Mark was offered a promotion. In Zurich. Really? Yeah. So he'd be moving them again. I mean, I, I know that this is how Mark was raised, but the kids really like it here. Hey. Hi. Did you tell her? Yes, she just did. <laughs> well, I really need to go because I need to uh, re-up my supplies for tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Jess, what, what's going on? I mean... I thought you guys would be excited. We are. Then what's the expression? Maybe I had too much Christmas fun today and I have a resting Grinch face. No, Jess, come on. What's going on? No, no, I don't want to overstep. It's not overstepping when I'm asking. I just want your opinion, that's all. OK. OK. <laughs> OK, uh, first of all, congratulations. This is an incredible opportunity for you. I'm just thinking about the kids. I think they need to feel like they have a home, like they have somewhere that they belong. I mean, they're just kids. You're upset. No, I'm not upset. Yes, you are. I'm not upset. You asked for my opinion, and I gave it to you. Mm, you certainly did. OK, well, I think I, think I should go. Good night. Jess, you're famous. I'm not famous. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, you're here. Yeah. Tori had an early morning. Hmm. Dad. Yeah. Just in the newspaper. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Opinion piece? Can I pour you a cup? Sure, thanks. Yeah. How do you uh, take your coffee? I'm sure you have strong feelings about it. Cream and sugar. How do you take your coffee? Let me guess. Tad too seriously? <clears throat> yeah. 
Are you serious? What's wrong? There's a snowstorm coming in Christmas Eve morning, so we won't be able to perform at the market. We might have to cancel the Advent concert. Hey, honey, I'm sorry, but you know what? That concert's not gonna get canceled, okay? Everyone's meeting at the market. Can I go? Yeah, if your dad says it's okay. Of course it's okay. Okay, thanks. Hey, do me a favor and keep me posted, okay? Okay, bye. <laughs> Thanks. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Just a lot to think about and process with this deal. And you do realize you don't have to come in on Sundays. <laughs> it's not a problem. I wanted to discuss the offer. Okay, let's discuss it. There's one show in Zurich right after the New Year. Okay, when we move? At your convenience, between Christmas and New Year's. It's a week from now. It's not really at my convenience. <sighs> wow. Let me ask you something. Do you think I'd be making the right choice if I took this job? Well, I think it's a big promotion. It's the last step before Ambassador, and you've worked hard for this. Right. But also, I can see how it would be tough on the kids. All right, look, uh, do me a favor. Just please let them know I need a couple of days to think it over, okay? Of course. Thanks. Hey, have they found a new venue yet? Not yet, but I think I might have an idea. Why, why aren't you at your booth? Sold out for the day. <laughs> it's actually been hard to stay in stock, and my online sales are booming. I am so happy for you. <laughs> I think maybe you should be making art full time. I was the one who pressures people to step out of their comfort zone. <laughs> right. Uh, I can watch the kids right now if there's something you want to go do. Uh, yes, yes. I wanted to do a little more Christmas shopping. Fun. Just saw Mark in there doing the same thing. <laughs> what is going on with you two? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He's hot and he's cold. He connects and then he pulls away. He asks for my opinion and then gets mad when I give it to him. I feel like he wants me to be open with him while he still gets to guard himself. Jess. He lost somebody he loved. I know. I just, I don't think he's ready to put himself back out there again. And to be honest, I'm not sure I am either. So, Mark is a handsome and charming, wonderful man. And from now on, I'm just gonna do everything I can to avoid him. Yeah. <laughs> Alter Intendant, Stadtrat, Rudi Oppermann, die letzte Kerze. Bitte. Liebe Wiener Mitbürger, es ist für mich eine große Ehre. Sprechen Sie Englisch? Ich würde mich freuen, wenn auch in eurem Herzen so eine Kerze brennt. Und dass ich hier in eurem... Do you know what they're doing? Dass ich bei dieser wichtigen um, Ceremonie... This is an Advent wreath ceremony. Ah. Mm -hmm. Each candle symbolizes something. And what does today's candle symbolize? I don't know. You tell me. Peace. Is that an apology? It is. Mm -hmm. I am sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask for your opinion. You did. Yes, I did, but I didn't like what I heard. Because? Do you always have to push it? Yeah. <laughs> because what you said was valid. The situation is uh, very complicated. Mm -hmm. You know, there's this German word, for Schlimmbessen, which means to make things worse while trying to improve. And I feel that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Sounds like there's an impossible to pronounce German word for everything. Hey, listen, would you uh, like to grab some uh, glue vine? Glue, glue what? <laughs> glue vine. It's a mulled spice wine. Um, tastes like candy. So, oh. Yeah, and they serve me these specialty novels. You had me at candy flavored wine. <laughs> I so. figured I would. Okay. So, have you uh, finished your Christmas shopping yet? No, no, I've been oh. procrastinating, so I really need to get on it. <laughs> I actually have a bit of a reputation for giving the perfect gift. Really? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Okay, so what makes a present perfect? Mm. Well, it's got to be personal, mm -hmm. heartfelt, surprising. Okay. But 
A truly perfect present mm -hmm. is the one that you didn't know you wanted, but then upon receiving, realized you couldn't live without. Wow, that's high bar. Mm -hmm. Here I am, usually the guy that just sends socks and gift certificates. Really? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Oh, yes. No. I, no, I give the worst gifts, but simultaneously, I always want to make sure I get the present I've always wanted. Oh. You know, that's the kid in me. Mm -hmm. Christmas brings it out. <laughs> but I'm also the guy that still wishes upon the Christmas star. What is it? Every time I'm around you, I admit something I've never said out loud before. You know, there's an English word for that. Really? Okay, what is it? Oversharing? Okay. Yeah. I need to get to it. To what? Oh, you know, Christmas. Shopping, gotta... yes. yes. Me too. Okay. All right, good luck. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Lena, hi. Oh, thank you so much for calling me back so soon. Okay, I have a huge favor to ask. <laughs> hi, I'm sorry to barge in like this. No, no, it's okay. Tori's not here. Um, I'm actually here for summer. Okay. So um, I didn't want to mention anything before because I wasn't sure if it was going to be possible, but I just spoke to Lena Huber, who's the conductor that I've been working with, and she spoke to the manager at the Vienna Opera House, and they've offered to host your pageant before my concert. Really? Mm -hmm. We're going to perform at the Vienna Opera House. Yeah. And now we wanted to miss each other's shows. Oh, thank you. <gasps> oh, thank you so much. You're the best. I, I have to call everyone and tell them. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm just so thrilled that it worked out. Listen, do you, uh, you have a minute? Because uh, I have a little something for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I hope it's not socks. Sorry, kind of socks. You're here through Christmas, right? Yeah, I I leave the day after. Well, we were hoping that you'd spend the holidays with us. Yeah, I would I would really like that. Well, in that case, I know exactly where to put this. So, as an expert gift giver, is that a good present? Well, it's personal mm. and heartfelt and surprising. Yeah, I'd say it's the perfect present. Good. <laughs> now I know what belief feels like. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you some tea. Oh, thanks. You need some help with those? Yeah, sure. Sure. <sighs> They're so pretty. How are you feeling about the big show? Summer show? No. Your show. Your last show. This is a big deal. Yeah, it is kind of a big deal. I don't know, maybe it won't be my last show. Does that mean you're not quitting? I, I'm having second thoughts. Jess, you have no idea how happy that makes me. I was so worried you were gonna make the worst mistake of your life. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. No, I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not quitting, but I practiced last night and I wanted to practice. And it felt like, like it used to feel, you know? Actually, no, no, it felt different. It felt oh, like- Finally, got them all to bed. <laughs> 
You know, I uh, broker peace deals all day, but I think my biggest accomplishment have to be a uh, bedtime. <laughs> so listen, I was thinking on whipping up some uh, Vinox punch. Bless you. No, <laughs> it's a it's a Christmas punch. Uh, Viennese specialty, you have to try it. How about I stay home with the kids and you take Jess out to Hotel Zaha? They have the best one there. Uh, you, yeah, what do, you, what do you think? Sounds great. You know, I came here my first day. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I hope uh, it's better this time. It is. Jess, I want to say thank you for everything you've done with the kids, especially Isla. She loves the violin. She really does, yeah. doesn't she? I love teaching her. Seeing how happy she is when she mm. plays reminds me of how I used to feel when I practiced. How's that? So the other night, the kids and I saw this cellist playing. Okay. She was so connected to her music, so joyful. It made me realize what's been missing for me. I used to play like that, mm. but now I just perform. But I don't know. Between teaching Isla and just being here in this gorgeous city with its music and beauty and I started to feel like I'm playing again. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Okay. First bite is yours. It's way better the second time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to overstep, oh. but what do you think made playing so difficult? Maybe it was the pressure, or I burnt out. Honestly, I was engaged to another violinist, and he broke up with me. And although I couldn't see it at the time, it was it was the right thing for us, you know? Our hearts just weren't really in it. It's kind of like we were going through the motions. But still, I was completely heartbroken. Mm. But I didn't let myself feel it, you know? Instead, I just threw myself into music because, well, because I knew that music would never leave me, it would never hurt me. So music has become the hiding my heart instead of playing from it. You know, I get it. I do. I feel I have the same instinct for self-preservation. But it's not self-preservation. It's fear. I know, and you're right, and I keep doing it. I don't want to do it, but I do, because I'm scared. Wow. Wow, great. There you go, admitting something I've never said out loud before. Have you figured out what that word is yet? Could it be embarrassing? <laughs> no. You gonna tell me? Not yet. <laughs> okay. I figured you weren't. <laughs> so, I mean, do you want to be with someone again? Yeah, I mean, there's obviously things I definitely miss. Like sitting, cuddling in front of a fire on a cold winter night. I mean, you can always get a nice blanket. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not quite the same. No? Listen, I was uh, thinking we'd go to the Shungrun. Well, I just went there with the kids. You haven't seen it at night. I'll lead the way. After you. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Why don't we uh, check the view from the steps, shall we? I don't think we can go up there. Oh, I know a guy. Of course you do. <laughs> Gonna go under? Okay. It's feeling dunk. Thank you. After you. I can't believe that worked. Ah, uh, you know, kind of a big deal over here. <laughs> that makes sense, because you know what? I feel like a princess up here. <laughs> it's my jam. Would you like to dance? I thought you weren't much of a dancer. I'm not, but shouldn't let that stop me, right? Plus, you're not supposed to dance to Christmas carols, but I figured you and I would break the rules. Well, all right.
You really love this song, huh? I do. Mm. What's not to love? It's a song about silence. Mm. It also just makes me feel the way Christmas makes me feel. You know, just mm -hmm. calm, peaceful, joyful. <laughs> like a perfect moment frozen in time. Perfect moment made even more perfect. Wow, Jess. I'm very impressed. Thank you. I was going to wait, but I'm interested to see if you'd be a good fit for the Vienna Philharmonic. <laughs> of course, the decision isn't mine alone. You'd have to audition. Of course, of course. But the Vienna Philharmonic, I mean, it's one of the best orchestras in the world. And I have the feeling you'll fit right in. <sighs> Sie ist wirklich berühmt. <lacht> ja, und ähm, sie hat lange mit meiner Kollegin Hey! Wow, your first song! And you already sound amazing! I think that you could even play that in the pageant. Although we do need to get you a violin your size. But first, who's hungry? You are. You're always hungry. <lacht> Only in Vienna. So, would you uh, find the perfect presents? Uh, yes. Uh, I still have a few left to get, but so far, so good. Mm, good. Uh, listen, uh, Tori's almost home, and she's planning on taking the kids sledding. So, if you still need to do some shopping, I could uh, take you to the Carl Spots Market. I don't think you've been there yet, so. Uh, yeah, sure. Love to. Great. <laughs> This is the Karlsplatz Market. Mm, cool. It's where all the locals shop. Okay, you're over your thoughts. Oh, the price of thoughts has really gone up. Oh, inflation? <laughs> Get more of just what we were talking about yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, my music and rethinking leaving it. Oh, I'm glad to see that you are thinking about sticking with it. Oh, I didn't realize you had an opinion on the matter. I didn't want to overstep. Come on, it's, you know, you've worked so hard to get here. It'd be a shame to give up now, right? Yeah, I know, I know. That's what I'm thinking. If I left, would I have regrets? Mm. So, come on, what do you think of the market, huh? It's lovely. And I am happy to feel like a local. Mm -hmm. But I gotta be honest, I really do love those touristy places. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, in that case, let me show you the uh, shining star of the Vienna tourism industry. Oh, go on. I will. <laughs> jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell, a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. This is the world famous Prada Ferris wheel. It was built in 1897. It's one of the oldest in the world. <laughs> this touristy enough for you? Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I can't believe it's snowing again. Well, I mean, come on, I told you I knew a guy. Oh, you know the guy. <laughs> well, the guy upstairs. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Here's to your very first Christmas in Vienna. I can't believe this has been running for over 100 years. Yeah, they certainly know how to make it. Do you think you'll ever come back to Vienna? I don't know. It wouldn't be the same. 
This has been the perfect trip. My very own silent night. Well, then maybe you should stay. Maybe you should stay. I think this is typically when we... I know. And I, uh, I want to. But it's just, uh, it'll make saying goodbye more difficult. Jess, you're leaving. What if I wasn't? And what if, hypothetically, somehow, I wound up here in Vienna? I guess you wouldn't be here anyway, so... Hey, I haven't given my final decision to my promotion yet. But it's, you know, it's like you said about your music. To come this far and to... to just... quit, but maybe I'd feel regret. Well, I think... I think some regrets are easier to handle than others. Jess... I know I'm slow to bring my walls down, but I do want to love again. And when I'm with you, I feel like one day I am going to be ready. One day? Jess, I'm... I think this is our stop. I should get back to the office. Yeah. Ciao, Mama. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Stop. <laughs> well, we can talk endlessly about my love life, but not yours. Well, no, we can't talk about it. It's just that I'm not sure what it is yet. Although I do like him. And I love his mom. Oh, well, then it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> hey, Sus, I'm going to go take a break, OK? OK. Take your time. <laughs> I think maybe she heard you say that. <laughs> I think so, too. I've got some exciting news. Sue's is opening a cafe and wants me to partner with her. And the best part is, there'll be a gallery where I can display my paintings. What? <laughs> that is amazing. It's terrifying, but also exciting. And you know, really good timing with the kids leaving and all. So they are leaving. Oh, well, I didn't hear anything final, but you know, I'm just assuming they will. Well, uh, I have some exciting news too. <laughs> Mark rejected you again. Wait, he did? Oh, Jess, I'm so sorry. It was just a joke from last time. It's fine. It's fine, really. Okay, so what was your news? Uh, so Lena, the conductor I've been working with, invited me to audition for the Vienna Philharmonic. What? I, it's just an audition, and it's a long shot that I'd even get a seat. No, you'd get it. And the most amazing part is you'd be living close to me. Oh, that would be so nice. But wait, does this have to do with Mark? No, 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 no. I didn't even tell him. Why not? Because he's leaving. And even if he wasn't, we don't work. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. I just returned to my desk, and there was an email from Zurich. I've been stalling as long as I can, but they want an answer today. Right. Um, OK. Tell them I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. It's just, I've practiced so much, but it's just so different when you have to actually perform. Well, how about you don't perform? What? Don't perform, just play, just have fun. Yeah, but what if I mess up? Everybody messes up. <laughs> it may not go the way you want it to, but what matters is that you didn't hold anything back. That you played from your heart. It's not about the performance. It's not about the success, or the audience, or what they think. It's about how you feel. About doing it for the love of it. Because that is the only way. 
Want to take a break? Yeah. I have an idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, team. <laughs> Since I've been here, we have tried all of the Viennese Christmas cookies. We had the vanilla Kevel Kirk. <laughs> vanilla Kevel Right, yeah. We had the Le Buku something. Le Buku. Right, that one. And then we also had a bunch of other stuff that sounds like sneezing. But you know what we haven't tried yet? The queen of the Christmas treats. My personal favorite, the good old fashioned sugar cookie. Mm. Wanna do it? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. Okay, Julian, you are on measuring summer. You are on mixing. What's my job? Isla, you are on icing. Does that work? Good. OK, start with two cups of flour. And Isla, I'd like you to crack a couple eggs. We need three of them, OK? <laughs> OK. Are you what just... are you doing? <laughs> uh, ew. Ew. There's a, There's a piece in there. Uh-oh. Ew. <laughs> hey, guys, give me a second. Just keep mixing, OK? OK. OK. okay. Hey. Hey, what's going on? I took the job. Yeah, and I needed to tell the kids we're leaving right after Christmas. Really? Well, why do you look so surprised? I don't know why. Jess, this was an extremely hard choice. No, I know it was. But it kind of feels like you made the easy choice. In what way? seems to me like you keep moving because it's easier to believe that you'll never have a home than to actually build one and discover that something is missing. It feels like you're running away. Well, you would know. What's that supposed to mean? You run from music. Whatever music means to you, right? Yeah, I do. You're right. But being here with you, with these kids, made me want to change that. You keep saying that, that whenever you're around me, you admit something that you've never said before. Do you know what the word for that is? It's vulnerability. <laughs> Mark, no one can know the song that's in your heart unless you let them hear it. At the very least, don't you think you should ask your kids how they feel before moving them again? Moving again? I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I'm, I'm just gonna go. Well, the first thing I want to say is that I'm sorry. I never asked you for your thoughts about moving, and I realize that now. You know, this is the decision that we need to make as a family. Okay? So. I want to stay in Vienna. Me too. Me too. Jess, where are you? You're a million miles away. I know. I'm sorry. Jess, I'm a bit concerned for tonight. No, no, no. Don't be. I've got this. I'm just a little distracted. The board of the Vienna Philharmonic will all be here tonight. And I want them to hear you at your best. Perfect. No pressure. Is everybody ready? We should get going. Where's Isla? Oh, there she is. Oh, you guys look fantastic. Wait before you go. They're from Jess. She wanted you to open them before the pageant. It's a heart charm just like Jess's. Is. Yes, it is. <laughs> What'd you get? What is it? It's a place to hang my hat. Uh, but what's the eagle? That's a football team, bud. Oh, so like what Jess calls soccer? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What do you got there? Isla? Ooh. Wow. Nice. Isla got a violin, and you just got a hook and a hat. It's more than just a hook and a hat. Okay, you guys. We've got to go. There's one for you, too. What? A blanket. <laughs> for cuddling by the fire on a cold winter night. Jess had mentioned something about potentially staying in Vienna. She was asked to audition for the Vienna Philharmonic. Really? Jess! <laughs> Thank you for the present. Of course, you're welcome. We're not moving. What? That's great! It's amazing. <laughs> And now I have to perform in front of all of these people. Summer, you got this. Okay, sweetie. Will you accompany me? You can do this on your own. No, no, please, I want you to play with me. I don't know your arrangement for Ave Maria. I'm not singing Ave Maria anymore. I'm singing Silent Night. Really? Why? A little birdie told me it's your favorite song. Ah, the little baby. <laughs> <laughs> and because love is knowing the song in someone's heart, and singing it for them when they need to hear it most. Yes, I would. I would love to. Thanks. I have to go. Good yes. luck, honey. I can't say from here. Come on, let's go watch from the other side. You're not moving? No. No, we're staying. I was scared. But I'm not scared anymore. I'm ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is typically where we're supposed to kiss. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Jess, it's time. Okay. Um. Can you yeah, take yeah. that? Thank you. Hey. Good luck. Good evening. We have a very special program for you this evening. So thank you for joining us on Christmas Eve. And, and thank you to the city of Vienna for giving me the most magical holiday I have ever had. There truly is no Christmas like a Christmas in Vienna. <laughs> Not just because of the markets and the food and this stunning architecture, but also because these past few weeks have taught me the true meaning of Christmas. Christmas is about love. Christmas, like, like music, like love, allows us to live in a magical world of our creation that exists beyond our own. Let's try to live there more often. Merry Christmas. <laughs> And now, for our first performer from the Vienna Children's Choir, please welcome Summer Olsen, opening with a Viennese favorite.
We'll be in touch. Thank you. You guys were incredible, all Thanks. of you. I'm taking the kids home. Mark said he wanted to wait for you. Do you know where he is? Uh, I lost some on stage. Say goodbye to Jess. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Christmas morning. <laughs> There you are. Hey. You are amazing. Thank you. What's that smile? I just, uh, was feeling grateful. Thank you for all of this. <laughs> and uh, I also forgot to thank you for the blanket. It's exactly what I needed. Although it makes me feel especially bad since only got you a sock. <laughs> it's not just a sock. It was... It was the perfect present. So this... This is finally when we...